Good morning, and welcome to the Cathedral Church of All Saints Halifax and to this worship service. Today is Wednesday, February 17th, Ash Wednesday. Our form of worship today will be the Great Litany, as found starting on page 138 of the Book of Alternative Services. God the Father, creator of heaven and earth, have mercy on us. God the Son, redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, have mercy on us. Holy, blessed, and glorious Trinity, three persons and one God, have mercy on us. Lord, remember not our offenses, nor the offenses of our forebears. Spare us, good Lord, spare your people whom you have redeemed with your precious blood. Spare us, good Lord, from all evil and mischief, from sin, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from your wrath and from everlasting condemnation. Good Lord, deliver us from all spiritual blindness, from pride, vainglory, and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred, and malice, and from all want of charity. Good Lord, deliver us from all deadly sin and from the deceits of the world, the flesh, and the devil. Good Lord, deliver us from all false doctrine, heresy, and schism, from hardness of heart and contempt of your word and commandment. Good Lord, deliver us from earthquake and tempest, from drought, fire, and flood, from civil strife and violence, from war and murder, and from dying suddenly and unprepared. Good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, and by your proclamation of the kingdom, good Lord, deliver us. By your agony and bitter grief, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, good Lord, deliver us. In our times of trouble, in our times of prosperity, in the hour of death, and on the day of judgment, good Lord, deliver us. Receive now our prayers, Lord God. May it please you to rule and govern your holy church universal and lead it in your way. Hear us, good Lord. Strengthen your servant, Elizabeth, our queen, in true worship and holiness of life. Be her defender and keeper, that she may always seek your honor and glory and endue the leaders of this nation with wisdom and understanding. Hear us, good Lord. Bless and defend all who strive for our safety and protection and shield them in all dangers and adversities. Hear us, good Lord. Grant wisdom and insight to those who govern us and to judges and magistrates the grace to execute justice with mercy. Hear us, good Lord. Enlighten all bishops, priests, and deacons with true knowledge and understanding of your word that in their preaching and living, they may declare it clearly and show its truth. Hear us, good Lord. Bless all your servants preparing for ministry in your church. Pour your grace upon them that they may serve others as Christ himself has served us for the building up of his body in love. Hear us, good Lord. Encourage and prosper your servants who spread the gospel in all the world and send out laborers into the harvest. Hear us, good Lord. Bless and keep your people that all may find and follow their true vocation and ministry. Hear us, good Lord. Give us a heart to love and reverence you that we may diligently live according to your commandments. Hear us, good Lord. To all your people, give growth in grace to listen to your word, to receive it gladly, and to bring forth the fruit of the Spirit. Hear us, good Lord. Strengthen those who stand firm in the faith, encourage the faint-hearted, raise up those who fall, and finally beat down Satan under our feet. Hear us, good Lord. To all nations grant unity, peace, and concord, and to all peoples give dignity, food, and shelter. Hear us, good Lord. Grant us abundant harvests, strength and skill to conserve the resources of the earth, and wisdom to use them well. Hear us, good Lord. Enlighten with your spirit all who teach and all who learn. 
Hear us, good Lord. Come to the help of all who are in danger, necessity, and trouble. Protect all who travel by land, air, or water, and show your pity on all prisoners and captives. Hear us, good Lord. Strengthen and preserve all women who are in childbirth and all young children, and comfort the aged and lonely. Hear us, good Lord. Defend and provide for the widowed and the orphaned, the refugees and the homeless, the unemployed, and all who are desolate and oppressed. Hear us, good Lord. Heal those who are sick in body or mind, and give skill and compassion to all who care for them. Hear us, good Lord. Grant us true repentance, forgive our sins, and strengthen us by your Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to your holy word. Hear us, good Lord. Son of God, we ask you to hear us. Son of God, we ask you to hear us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Collect for Ash Wednesday. Almighty and everlasting God, you despise nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our brokenness, may obtain of you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We pray for the unity of Christian people. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together, you will hear their requests. Fulfill now our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come eternal life. For you, Father, are good and loving, and we glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>